So let's start with the first unit molecular methods. In the molecular methods, I want to teach you PCR and the modifications of the PCR. Many students, I don't know, there are many students like how many of you know the differences between them? What is PCR and what are the variations of the PCR that is RT-PCR, real-time PCR, real-time RT-PCR, nested PCR, multiplex PCR. Do you understand differences between them? What do you mean by PCR? It's a very important question. It's an important question for your university exam as well as many questions are framed on these. Okay, so let's start it. Let's start first of all, let me tell you what is PCR. What is the full form of PCR? Polymerase chain reaction polymerase chain reaction it's a type of chain reaction it's a type of chain reaction i mean it's a type of amplification system okay let me ask you a question before understanding pcr you people tell me have you seen a xerox machine i guess everyone has seen the xerox machine yes or no what is a xerox machine what is a xerox machine printout machine xerox machine so here we insert one copy one copy of any paper okay and we put an end number over here here we put an end number how many copies we want in the software and we we uh, receive that many copies in a fraction of minute in a fraction of second in very less time we get multiple copies so basically what we are doing here in the xerox machine we are doing amplification amplification of the paper Okay, amplification of the notes or the paper. Yes or no? This is Xerox machine. So basically, PCR is nothing. It's a Xerox machine only. So PCR machine is a Xerox machine for easy understanding. You will say, ma'am, Xerox of what? Amplification of what? Is it amplification of paper? No, no, no. PCR is amplification of DNA. Amplification of gene or DNA. A portion of DNA. That is a particular gene also. So it is amplification of a portion of DNA. So we, from the entire chromosome, we target a portion of DNA. Okay. And we amplify it multiple times. But here we have to insert the end number. Because it's an ongoing process. It's a continuous process. It's a chain reaction. It's never ending. So you have to put here the end point. How many copies you want? You are inserting one copy. So how many copies you want? You want 100. You want 1000. You want 10,000. You want 1 lakh. How many copies you want? So you have to insert that end point here. And that is PCR. So what is PCR? You tell me. Tell me the definition of PCR. PCR is amplification. It's a DNA amplification system. Say so what is PCR? It's a DNA amplification system where we insert a small amount of DNA and we receive a large amount of DNA. Okay. In a fraction of time, very less time. Who discovered PCR? There is a great scientist long ago, Carrie Muller in 1993. He discovered uh, PCR and for which he was awarded Nobel Prize because PCR have done many changes in our diagnostic microbiology. Many microorganisms nowadays we are diagnosing with the help of PCR. Okay, so this is the basic definition or introduction of the PCR you got it. Now what we are doing, how, how, what are the steps, how we are doing the amplification of DNA. Okay, so I will tell you the steps one by one. So PCR, the amplification is done inside a machine. This machine, it is known as PCR machine or it is known as thermal cycler. PCR machine. It's a fully automated machine. It is connected with the computer. It is connected and it's fully automated. So what we are doing here, we take our specimen in PCR tube. This is PCR tube. We will take our specimen in the PCR tube, which contain a small amount of the organism. Suppose this is the PCR tube. Okay. This is a PCR tube I am drawing, uh, drawing inside which uh, the specimen is there. The specimen contain a small, very small amount of organism. Let's say bacteria, very small amount of bacteria. But I want to amplify it because at such a small quantity, I cannot do the diagnosis whether bacteria is present or not present, which bacteria is present. I cannot diagnose it because the quantity is very less, very less. So before diagnosing, I want to increase the quantity. So basically, I want to do the amplification of the bacteria, not a complete bacteria, but the DNA of the bacteria. If I amplify it, I can do the diagnosis very easily. OK, so I want to do the amplification of the DNA of the microorganism. OK, so here the specimen contain the microorganism. These are the microorganism. Microorganism can be bacteria, can be virus, can be fungus, can be parasite. Suppose bacteria. Suppose, let's say for the sake of understanding, we are saying bacteria. I am not interested in microorganism. I am interested in the DNA of the microorganism. You are getting it. I am interested 
in the DNA of the microorganism. Okay, this is the DNA. This is the DNA of the microorganism, double stranded DNA. I'm interested in that because I want to amplify that. I want to because the quantity is very less. Now, here the quantity is very less. I cannot do the diagnosis. So, I will amplify it to increase the quantity. Double stranded DNA. Okay, so basically the PCR tube, I'm taking the specimen. In the specimen, we are doing DNA extraction. I'm not interested in complete organism. Again, I'm saying this is my complete organism. I will extract its DNA because I want to amplify the DNA. So first step is DNA extraction. There are three steps. The first step is extraction of DNA from the organism. You take the organism, you take the specimen in a test tube. From that test tube, first you extract the DNA. And then you put the DNA in the PCR tube. Okay, so I will amplify it. Then we will try to amplify the DNA. How we will amplify the DNA? There are three steps. Please understand, everyone here on the screen, can you see this is a double-stranded DNA? Yes, this is a double-stranded DNA. So we will put this third PCR tube inside this machine and we will uh, press the start button. So I am putting this tube inside this machine and pressing start button pressing start button after putting an end point here i have to mention the end point how many uh, cycles i want to continue what is my end point okay how many dna copies gene copies i want okay because it's a never ending process it's a chain reaction so i'm pressing the start button as soon as i press the start button the temperature inside this tube automatically become 95 degree it become 95 degree celsius at 95 degree celsius the two strands of dna separate from each other Okay, at 95, there are two strands in DNA, no? double-stranded DNA, leading strand, lagging strand. So, leading and lagging strand, the double strands separate from each other. Can you see? This is leading strand, this is lagging strand. At 95 degree, they separate from each other. See, the bonds are breaking between them. The bonds are broken between them and the leading strand is separate, lagging strand is separate. Both the strands are separated from each other. Got it or didn't got it? That is the first thing happens. So, this will happen for a fraction of second. After that, automatically temperature, after that, uh, it will be there for a fraction of second, the 95 degree. After that, automatically temperature become 55 degree. Auto we don't have to do it manually. Automatically, it will be 55 degree. So, this is the leading strand. This is a lagging strand. Okay, leading and lagging are separated. Now, at 55 degree, the primers will come. Inside this PCR tube, we have put the sample and we have put the primers also already present inside the PCR tube along with the sample. So, primers will come. So, can you see here is a primer, here is a primer. One primer is binding with the leading strand and one primer is binding with the lagging strand. So, binding of primer with the leading and lagging strand, this is known as annealing. First, the DNA, the two strands of the DNA separated from each other. That is known as denaturation. So, as soon as we start the press button, we press the start button, uh, the temperature is 95 degree. At 95 degree, the two strands separate from each other. That is denaturation took place. Okay, automatically temperature become 55. At 55, annealing took place. What do you mean by annealing? The primer will bind with leading as well as lagging. Now, automatically temperature will become 72. Automatically. So, first the temperature was 95. Then uh, temperature is uh, 55. And now the temperature is 72. Automatically it happens after a fraction of second. Automatically, temperature convert. At 72 degree, inside this sample, inside this PCR tube, we have already put the four nucleotides. What are the four nucleotides? Adenine, guanine, cytosine and thymidine. You know the four nucleotides. You know adenine form double bond with thymidine. Cytosine form triple bond with guanine. You know that. Okay. So, here extension will take place. So, whatever is there on the leading and lagging strand, in front of AT will come, in front of CG will come. Likewise, likewise. Here also, here also, on leading also, on lagging also. So, this step is known as extension. So, four strands are formed. We started with two strands and we ended with four strands. How many of you got it, people? Rohini, Mazali, Maheshwari, Ishu, Sasirekha. Hmm? Kindly respond, people. You got the three steps. So, I am saying that this is a thermal cycler. Okay, this is thermal cycler machine. Inside which I have inserted the PCR tube. This is the PCR tube which I have put inside the machine, thermal cycler. Okay, inside this tube, the first thing I put is my DNA extracted from the organism. This is the DNA. Okay, I can't see your comments. Okay, got it, got it. Now I have seen your comments. This is the sample. This is the sample DNA which is extracted from the organism. Maybe bacteria, maybe virus. Okay, so this is the DNA, double-stranded DNA. Okay, apart from that, 
it contains primers these are the primers already uh, put inside the tube and apart from that the four nucleotides adenine guanine cytosine and thymidine they all are many 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 adenine many these all are also present now we press the start button as soon as we press the start button three things happen one by one as soon as we press the start button first the temperature will become 95 degree at which the two strands separate from each other this is known as denaturation denaturation automatically temperature will become 55 degree 55 degree at 55 degree these are the two strands okay at 55 degree the primers will bind with with the leading also with the lagging also and this step is known as annealing 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 that is binding of primer with the leading also with the lagging also like this and automatically after that the temperature will become 72 that is at this step extension take place extension take place what do you mean by extension so these are the two strands you can see these are the two primers you can see and now the extension take place that is adenine will form bond with thymidine guanine will form bond with cytidine and in this way we started with two strands see one two we ended with four one two three four i hope you got it i hope so here we started with two and here we ended with four okay so we started with two strands we ended with four strands okay now now please please listen the most important step the most important step is that after that temperature again become 95 automatically automatically so all these four which are the product of the first cycle become the substrate of the second cycle here it was substrate here it was product now the product of the first cycle become the substrate of the second substrate of the second cycle you are getting it now all the four strands will separate from each other so denaturation happen in all four of them annealing will happen in all four of them extension will happen so from four to eight will be formed then all eight will again enter in the next cycle so the most important line in the entire process is one what's that the product of the first cycle is the reactant of the next cycle how many of you got it how many of you didn't got it people kindly respond you have to be resp uh, uh, responding all the time you got it the product of the first cycle will be the substrate of the next cycle subsequent cycle and that is the meaning of chain reaction it's never ending it will keep on growing keep on going keep on going so first from one one dna two will be formed from two four will be formed four uh eight will be formed one copy to two two to four four to eight eight to sixteen sixteen to thirty two and so on so on so on it's never ending anyone have any confusion these are the three steps of amplification so what are the three steps of amplification so what we have done first of all we have extracted the dna from the organism and taken it in a pcr tube after that we have done the amplification how amplification is done amplification is done with the help of three steps first of all temperature is 95 degree at 95 degree denaturation take place then the temperature is 55 degree at 55 degree annealing take place and then the temperature is 72 degree at 72 degree extension take place and then after that uh, the product of the first become the reactant of second it keeps on going keeps on going keeps on going whenever the end point is reached in the end we do gel electrophoresis we do gel electrophoresis like this to see which gene is amplified so you can see this gene is not amplified this gene is not amplified but these are amplified so we can see the product is amplified or not so on the gel electrophoresis clear cut amplification bands are visible to you and you can see those bands very clearly okay got it yes these are the three steps absolutely right maheshwari absolutely right got it any confusion anyone have any confusion see this diagram also you can see this is a double stranded dna c c c we are taking the doubt see the leading strand and lagging this is leading this is lagging see the two strands in the pcr tube we are taking the double stranded dna along with primer along with the four nucleotides adenine guanine cytosine and thymidine now first temperature is 95 degree denaturation leading and lagging separate from each other then the temperature become 55 degree that is annealing the primer is coming and binding with the leading also with the lagging also and then the temperature becomes 72 degree extension take place you can see extension is taking here also here also so four strands are formed this is first cycle over now all these four enter in the second cycle product of the first become the substrate of the second now you can see from 4 8 is formed from 8 16 will be formed likewise absolutely right 
okay everyone got it anyone have any confusion the same diagram this is how you have to draw in your exam see appreciate the pcr tube say yes you can see pcr tube this is pcr tube appreciate double stranded dna okay i have put it in the thermal cycler so first of all the temperature is 95 degree appreciate the two strands separate from each other that is this step is known as denaturation okay automatically temperature become 55 okay you can appreciate with the leading also lagging also appreciate the primer is coming and binding here primer okay this step is known as annealing and automatically the temperature becomes 72 after that okay so here also extension took place here also extension took place so total four strands are formed and now most important is this arrow appreciate the arrow the product of the first is the reactant and it keeps on going keep so we started with one copy we ended with multiple copy so this is known as amplification amplification of dna anyone have any confusion this is how you have to present your answer in the exam this is how you have to draw you have to say the three steps very clearly you have to draw this flow chart i will show you a video now first everyone give me a thumbs up then i will show you a video in which all three steps are clearly visible these three steps okay please see the video okay now i will show you a video see the two strands leading and lagging see first of all at 95 degree denaturation take place then at 55 degree this is the primers coming and binding annealing take place and then at 72 degree extension so so four strands are formed we started with two but we ended with four see again see again i will show you again so first of all at 95 degree see the two strands separate from each other leading and lagging then at 55 degree see the primers are coming and binding with leading also lagging also and then see at 72 extension took place so we started with two and we ended with four no confusion this is pcr so what are the steps of pcr people there are three steps of pcr can you tell me the three steps of pcr yes first of all we have done dna extraction from the organism okay then we have done dna amplification how we have done dna amplification amplification with the help of three subsequent steps and repeated steps i must say three subsequent and repeated steps so first denaturation then annealing and then extension you know their te uh, temperatures also and finally after that when dna is amplified the end point have been reached we have done gel electrophoresis to see the band of amplification done 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 okay got it no confusion so these are the steps of pcr now the most important thing is modifications of pcr there are many modifications of pcr and students always have confusion in that so i will teach you four modifications of pcr first is reverse transcriptase pcr say the full form it is known as rt pcr what is the full form of rt pcr reverse transcriptase pcr the second is real time pcr or real time reverse transcriptase pcr okay the third is nested pcr and the fourth is multiplex pcr now if you have understood basic pcr then only you are going to understand these modification if you have not understood this now no way you are not going to understand it so how many of you got pcr how many of you got it give me a thumbs up hello everyone i hope you found this concept clear and easy to understand if you had like to dive deeper into this topic and master it with full length lectures you can subscribe my app that is medlife by dr priyanka so join me for the live sessions where we break down the complex topics in a way that makes them simple and high yield for exams see you inside